They uh, cut it off early this spring because they had water damage and everything in the place. So they never cut it back on. Hmm. And the chief said that's very interesting. Yeah, they should have, that could have saved a lot of stuff. Right now, fire investigators are trying to determine the exact cause of an apartment fire at the KRC apartments. Uh, we're just off of Brook Hollow Parkway uh, in North Cross. Uh, we arrived on scene shortly after 3 uh, 25 this morning. Uh, called to the scene of an apartment fire. We found flames showing from the building when we arrived on scene. In fact, firefighters quickly deployed fire attack hose lines. They were able to battle this blaze, initially knocking the flames down before making entry. Uh, they were able to uh, contain the fire to two apartment units, uh, two units of the building have extensive fire damage. Uh, there are other units adjoining that have smoke and water damage. Uh, right now there are no injuries being reported. We did have one occupant of the building that was assessed by paramedics for a medical complaint, but again, no injury uh, due to the fire itself. And again, we're trying to determine the exact cause at this point. Uh, we have notified the Red Cross to assist families that are going to be displaced from units of the building. Do you have that number of how many and families are going to be displaced? I don't have the exact number at the moment. We know that fire extensively damaged two apartment units. There are several adjoining units that have smoke and water damage. Uh, due to the firefighting efforts, uh, we have had to cut power to the entire building just because of this damage. And again, right now I don't have an exact number displaced, but we are notifying the Red Cross to provide temporary assistance. Nobody transported? No, no transport. According to the neighbor over here that we talked to, they said the uh, apartment complex turned the sprinkler system off. What do you know about that? Well, we've been made aware of that at the command post. Uh, we're going to be looking into that. That's something that we'll be in communication with our fire marshal about. And so, again, that is information we're aware of that the sprinkler system was not working in the building at the time. Uh, and again, exactly why that system was not working and the circumstances we'll look into. And, and we don't have information this morning, but hope to have that as uh, we, we look into the situation. That probably could have changed the look of this scene. Well, certainly a working sprinkler system does allow the fire to be either contained or extinguished. And so that was not the case in this building. Luckily, the firefighters were able to get a good knockdown on the fire. Uh, there is extensive damage, though, to two apartment units, some residual firefighting effort damage in adjoining units. And again, we are looking into the issue with the fire sprinkler system, and uh, we'll have more information as we know that. Well, we missed out on asking what did we not talk about that we needed to. Uh, just right now, the cause of the fire is undetermined. It is under investigation. We have fire investigators here at the scene looking at the, the cause of the fire. Once we know that, we'll be able to bring you that as well. Red Cross on the way for these people? Well, we've notified the Red Cross. I don't believe they're here at the scene yet, but they have been contacted and uh, hopefully will be able to provide temporary assistance for the occupants who will uh, no doubt be displaced.